all right guys welcome back all right so in this video now i want to show us how to achieve a curvy pocket at the chest pocket right now here i have my color gum now i just cut out a certain measurement of four inches width and then the length i have here is around 10 but i will still reduce it as we progress right now the aim of this video is to show you how to achieve a curvy pocket at the base and then from, um, some of us do have issues on how to achieve this properly then i just had to cut out this measurement this way and then i will trim from the base here i will curve it in this form right i will curve in this form and then you make sure the pocket is actually at exact size you want then you check the length of your choice so the length i want to have here it's a length measurement of 6.5 or let's take 6 inches for the depth of the pocket, right? So 6 inches is okay for me since it's a chest pocket. So this is the size I want to have on my outfit. You make sure that the sides are as smooth as possible. Then after that, you bring up a certain piece of fabric. Now, because of the design on this outfit, I wanted the um, fabric to have the x-like connections on the at the center then i'll place this at the midpoint of this axis this way and then i will gum note how i am doing this i will gum it at the middle of the axis i will make sure that the axis are properly taken care of so i will gum it from there i will gum it from here this way right so you go on all through from there go on all through that way so when you must have gone all of this so now the next you will do is to reduce the width of the pockets and um, of course the length as well i will show you how to fold the edges properly so once you are done with this so just trim out like leave one inch or quarter inch at the base then also use the same measurement at the other side so use it as well from here and then you also make sure you 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 take the curvy nature of the pockets right this way and then you bring it out this way so this is the x-like effect i want to have at the center now let's fold now you must fold the sides first you must fold the sides of the pocket first so once you are done with the side folding this way once you are done with the side folding this way also fold this other side as well also fold here as well also fold here as well fold here as well right so once you are done with the two sides folding now you now battle with the down folding now you must use the tip of your iron and then drag the fabric to lap at exact edge where the color gum ended at the base right so you have to push this thing this way to make sure that this color gum is lapping at exact edge where the material rather is lapping at exact edge where the color gum ended then at this point you can reduce the excess fabrics here you can try your best to reduce it a bit this way reduce them a bit but not too close to the edge of the um color gum right reduce a bit and then you now fold this way you fold now at most cases you use your hemming gum and seal the side first in order to give it a a, a um a permanent fold at the sides this way so you fold right make sure the color gum is exact of the size of the of your chest pocket you want to have 3.5 4 inches is um, ideal for regular chest size measurements on kids you can reduce it to 2.5 2.7 as the case may be so you fold all through this way so after you must have done this now now you can slit a strand of your color gum just slit a strand of it slit a strand 
this way, slit a strand of it this way, and then you can add it to the base here, right? It can help you um, hold down the foldings. So add it to the base here. The, 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 the hemming gum um, is what you must use in doing this. So split a strand of your hemming gum, add it to the base, and then while you drag this fabric to relax properly at exact of this, don't allow any um, V-like or uh, pointed mouth to show at the base. So take your time, arrange it properly all through this way. Take your time, fold them. Fold them one after the other, right? Fold them one after the other, this way. And make sure it's properly taken care of. So once you are done with this folding, you have gotten a perfect connection. So all you will do now is to as well cross-check the base and make sure there is no pointed edge. If you see any pointed edge, you can use the iron to push it in by dragging that same point and then push it in. Make sure it's not coming out. So take your time. Push it in all through and then you fold the base. Then make sure that the length is the length you also want to use. 6 inches, 6.5 is ideal. Sorry, 5 inches, 5.5 is ideal. Then you fold all through this way. And then after this, you also apply your hemming gum underneath the base. You apply your hemming gum this way. A strand or two is ideal. So once you are done with this, this way, then you hem all through here. So you hem all through to this point. You hem all through to this point. Hem all through to this point. And then you are done with your pocket folding. Alright guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.